you you missed now our introduction, but I think you know. Uh, or do you a little bit know about uh, our practice? Or yeah. Well, maybe it comes through the discussion or so. Um, we wanted just to ask about what, I mean, we know you're an art critic and you're uh, teaching on the university and you're an artist, but maybe a little bit more about your what you're doing and what's your approach uh, to this kind of art practice or... And what brought you here, maybe? <laughs> mm. I'm from association, an cultural association, and so maybe I, I find in your project uh, something we made uh, in a uh, European project we made with uh, our association. We made project in uh, Bulga Bulgaria, uh, Germany, uh, Spain, and so I find this uh, kind of approach to to go in the the place, you know, to involving the the people from the oops, that place. And uh, make uh, build something with uh, with heart. Mm -hmm. Make a workshop uh, with the video, with face. Uh, uh, I find uh, the heart is a uh, is nice is nice way to 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 create uh, and to 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 put the attention on social and. Uh, okay. Okay. To put the attention on the social and uh, critical uh, so social and uh, problems, no. Mm -hmm. We met, for example, in Bilbao, and uh, video video workshop uh, about the um, the the destruction of uh, of uh, of the city of Bilbao mm -hmm. because the mm -hmm. yeah the deconstruction of the city of, of Bilbao. Because Bilbao was uh, in the, in the last years a big a big uh, Big place where <laughs> everywhere there were uh, everywhere there were some uh, some works. So people uh, don't leave the cities like uh, the the past, no. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so there there okay. was this kind of um, problems uh, of living between uh, p uh, cities and the uh, inhabitants. And so we we are we 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 were there to create this uh, uh, video installation in which we represent the city. Uh, like uh, and um, no uh, no places no hmm. like uh, a, a place where people uh, you c uh, can't live their their lives uh, naturally hmm. no and so I I find uh, I find it very similar with uh, your your project yeah. uh, when I saw. And so uh, uh, how did you uh, get there and and uh, you were yeah invited? we we we. Mm, no, we work with the other association, yeah, the, an association from Bilbao, okay, uh, that invited the uh, how my, my association, another association from Germany and yeah. uh, and Spain, mm -hmm. and so there there were different workshop. One of workshop uh, was a video. I mm -hmm. I followed this uh, this kind of workshop, but uh, there were other workshop like theater workshop or uh, uh, photogra photography workshop. Mm -hmm. so and uh, and then we build this kind of exhibition in which uh, a lot of people uh, you know, find the really really the the problem you no know, uh, they they live and who were your participants yeah uh, uh, no, i yeah i mm, are you participant or you offered the workshop no no yeah, i i was a participant uh, of the workshop you were a participant. no every every um, every association involved uh, create uh, a workshop, no? Yeah. Uh, my association no create a, a video workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh, I work for with with video with animation, no? Mm -hmm. And so. Were yeah, I. What? Who was joining your workshop? <laughs> ah, uh, we made a, a, s a s work with animation and uh, and video and video of uh, of the town. We create two different uh, view of the same of same uh, places of the town, mm -hmm. no? Uh, before and then then the the country. We we had uh, all the image, all the video of the, the old town, and uh, and we 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 going to make the same the same uh, the same video of the same place, no? And uh, we put in uh, in 
in the in the vi in the in television, and we we create a big mountain with the with <laughs> this, uh, this television in different places of of Bilbao. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And how long uh, uh, is in between the first and the uh, second video, the before and the after? Uh, no, the, oh we uh, the participant of video have the 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 target of the participant is collect all the video of the city. Okay. No? okay. 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 And so yeah. Great. And we collect uh, twenty, thirty, no, all the videos, mm -hmm. and then we we went to the same place to to take the same video with the same uh, character, no. And so we uh, we great, discovered yeah. the difference, no, yeah, 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 the, yeah. The, uh, the old town and the new town. Was this the topic, a given topic, or was it your idea to work uh, to this? Uh, no, no, problem? we we create this idea because uh, yeah, we are f we are finding uh, no original idea to to put the attention of a uh, deconstruction <laughs> of uh, yeah. of uh, of the city, and so we 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 thought uh, was a nice idea to. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been in Bilbao? Uh, two weeks, more about yeah. But we collect materials more uh, before, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We <laughs> yeah. work uh, for them three or four months before mm. the uh, the project. Can you still see the video somewhere, or is it? No, here no. But uh, you know, on uh, we have material uh, on uh, uh, youth in action uh, site, youth in action, because uh, the project was f f uh, were financed by youth in action, the mm. program of okay. your commu European community. Okay. No, 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 li prendiamo, se no. Chi sei? Poi ce la raccontiamo. You ju just realized that you're from the same uh, city, it's great, yeah. La selva mi conosce. Giuseppe, la selva. Giuseppe, la selva. And your organization is focused on video work? No, our organization is called the Bacchi da Setola. Sorry, wha how is it and called? Uh, Baki da Setola. Baki? Uh, is a... La Setola. Yes. Baki La Setola. Is a... Uh, Pino Pascal. Yeah. Work of Pino Pascal. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Ah. And uh, our... is com composed uh, by people that uh, make art uh, or study philosophy or... Uh, yeah. Yeah, we are... Oh. A lot of uh, <laughs> competence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, we... What? How many? How many? A lot. <laughs> 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 uh, we born, we, uh, we were four or five people, and then we, we grew up, and now we are 30, 40, and different people <gasps> live in different parts of the world. We create oh. a net uh, in different parts of Europe, because a lot of, uh, of us living uh, or work in Europe, so they are like a little uh, little bucky etc place in different Europe. So, that, so that then, thanks to Youth in Action uh, European uh, project, we create a uh, European network between other associations. And so in December we are going uh, in uh, Madrid to for another project with a, mm. a, ger uh, a German association and a Spanish associa association about theater and uh, and video. Also. Oh, great! Yeah. What is uh, the name of the German association? Do you know? What? The name of the German association? Kunstwerk from Kunstwerk. Potsdam, from Potsdam, okay. the city near near okay. near Berlin. Yeah, we stayed there also two times. Uh, they c they yeah they came here yeah. two times, other two times. So. And how do you uh, how are you financed? Um, it by projects Europe uh, always by European. You have always European to apply. European European community at this this program called yeah. Youth in Action. <coughs> they are fun. No, no, like association or former group. You have to. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. Mm -hmm. They are found from a European community, yeah. and uh, every every European country had uh, a national uh, national uh, <laughs> responsible. In Italy, is uh, yeah. Agenzia Nazionale Giovani. No? Okay, is, uh, okay, okay. You had to write pro uh, project on yeah. inter online or, or yeah. now, 
and they decide to if you give money to okay. to make this project okay. because they you have to want um, when when uh, they they accept your project you have to pay 70 70 percent of uh, the cost of the ticket uh, to every participant uh, give uh, an uh, house give food and mm -hmm. stuff and mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. it's very complex yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay great Bulgaria in Sofia, yeah, with the heart in action and uh, an association uh, from uh, from Bulgaria, yeah. Poland also. A video workshop or? No, no, uh, there was a theater workshop. Ciao, Mari. So that's all. <laughs> Great. Uh, no, 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 I am Federico from Naples. I live in Glasgow, like we said before, and uh, I'm sorry I missed the first part of your talk, <laughs> but I will try to catch you later. <laughs> and, uh, my work is much more uh, based on the sculptural practice, and uh, but at the same time I'm really interested in uh, social uh, as well, and uh, I really enjoy this workshop, and um, I also had some other experience uh, involving this other context, like for example when I was at the student at the Städelschule in Frankfurt, mm -hmm. we were with um, in Istanbul for a while uh, with. Um, uh, Nicolas Sirsch, she was director at that time of the school, and uh, together with Oda Projesi and uh, another curator based in uh, in Istanbul, Philip, I'm so, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and um, um, uh, together with Platform Garanti as well, uh, was really interesting because they were a, a kind of a developing this project on the periphery of Istanbul, it's called Gulensu, and uh, on the beautiful area they call the balcony of Istanbul, uh, which you can see all over the island. It's as, and uh, those people, they were building a house for, uh, in a kind of illegal way, but they had the mm -hmm. kind of uh, uh, unofficial official, uh, permission from the, because they were coming from the 40 years ago from Anatolia, and they need the kind of a love uh, pay, um, how do you say, um, uh, workers in a way, because nobody wanted to do it. And, um, but then now this area has a kind of a strong uh, uh, value for uh, um, condo, for uh, mm -hmm. building a company, and, uh, and there is a strong tension. Actually, I remember we, were, we did a few groups of work, and the, the project was called New Cultural Agency. And um, in my case, I work with a group of people. We were uh, um, all of these people from different parts of Anatolia. They had the kind of a, perso um, a club in the area where they were playing cards. They were trying to make cultural uh, things and uh, some <laughs> presentation. And uh, we tried to uh, build again the identity of those people because they were kind of uh, hiding this. Uh, and. Uh, uh, at the end of the project, we designed these uh, mobile uh, vitrines where uh, we collect all of these object pictures uh, that they were changing during the time. And then these vitrines, they were moving from, uh, they were kind of a puzzle. It was really interesting to work in that context. Also, was kind of a uh, tension with the police. We were eating in the restaurant, mm -hmm. police was coming to check us. And, oh. so, and this was one of these experiences I did in this context. And, uh, People who were, who, were, who were living there, who were living there, could move these retreats. Yeah, they were moving from a club. Uh, I don't know if it's the right word to say club. Uh, from a Community yes, kind of like this. They were moving from one place to one place. It was happening during the Istanbul Biennale, and it was some <coughs> talk and stuff. So and uh, and then I ran uh, a project space. I did just six, seven project since mm -hmm. I've been last ten years living abroad, and so also. Um, connected to what he was saying, that you know, my net, I extend my network. I'm still in touch with my friend, colleagues, and uh, uh, they are excited to come to Naples. But at the same time, uh, now I don't have a base in Naples anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I work still on some collaborative projects in other contexts, like I will do one in um, in Brussels. Uh, mm. uh, and uh, yes, that's uh, it's much more based on the kind of uh, object, um, thinking about object and uh, appropriation, uh, a kind of a different products uh, that doesn't really involve the 
socially, not directly, but more, much more on the thinking about value, like value display and uh, those kind of uh, products. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. where where do you uh, live quite uh, now? Uh, ni yeah. Right now I'm based in Glasgow because I finished my <laughs> master at the Glasgow School of Art last year. You come for this uh, workshop from Glasgow? Uh, okay. Yeah, I just stopped. <laughs> <one>. Oh, <laughs> wow, yeah, I was really great. excited. Great. Uh, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> and I know Viviana since a long time, but I was really happy to know much more from the professional way even more, and I'm really uh, <laughs> happy about they are really super professional, and uh, they will be always my one of my reference points. <laughs> well, how much did you pay him for saying this? <laughs> Nothing, really. I'm really... <laughs> It's um, <laughs> no, great, really. I think, yeah, I think uh, if I should think about the project with my project space in that direction, that's great, who I will yeah. think about. <laughs> hopeful they will want. Hopeful they want to. Go, they will collaborate with me. <laughs> but that, that's what they say last great. days. If you guys have a proposal, we are open about it. So, <laughs> great. Who next. Mm -hmm. I'm a curator, but I teach uh, at the Fine Arts Academy here in Bari. I fight to, to, to create something here just to, to, to spread the sens art sensibility from uh, among uh, young, young students and young artists. I try to, to help them to, to be known here and to link uh, the art system, but it's, it's not so easy. We have... Uh, a lot of troubles here. We have not uh, an, an art, a contemporary art institution in Bari, and we fight for this. For, it's a long time that we try to. Uh, I write uh, for uh, Republica Bari, so the local, but not local, not only local uh, newspaper, and, and I from other uh, ma art magazines like Flash Art or, or, or Segno. Uh, it's very difficult for us. I'm interested in uh, social practices, but not only in them, but I also organize something in, in, the, in, in this field. I invited some years ago, for example, um, uh, Stalker, and uh, we, we, we had a workshop here f with them. And I'm involved in, a, in an interesting project. Uh, I don't know now because pro money is, is finished now everywhere, but it was mm. Premio Loom, uh, Loom Award, it's a, a, an award for young artists, uh, Italian young artists, and uh, it's, foc mm, it, it, it's uh, focused on, uh, on social practice, on public art. I also sometimes uh, make some monographic uh, course in my, in my uh, history of art co uh, course, on public art, I try to sensibilize. How do you say? How, how to, to, to communicate these mm -hmm. problems to my to my students? It's not so easy because we we said to before that people here are not so interested. A lot of uh, most of people, or most of students are are not to, not so interested to to link to, to create a net to to uh, to work together. I don't know why. Maybe. I'm surprised now. There are some situations, the new, also new situations that are working in this sense. But, uh, for example, at school, in, a, in the academy, everyone thinks of, of, of himself and just uh, makes uh, traditional uh, works. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, the problem is our teachers, yes. The problems are teachers, of course. But I, I said then... For example, I try to involve them uh, uh, to, to come here to these mm -hmm. workshops. Just three, four came uh, last week, but uh, they don't know English, for example, mm -hmm. so it's, it's a problem. It's a, good, it's a big for, for a young people, it's very strange. Uh, for young people, it's very strange, but they don't know it. Mm. Uh, so it's a, it's a trouble. I, I, I ch I, um, I've chosen to stay here, to live here. When I was younger, I, 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 I made this show, so I have to, to fight here. It's mm -hmm. not so easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yeah. try, but <laughs> I hope uh, something is changing for, for the future. So that's all. What about mm. you? Um, without, without. Ah, okay. 
Sorry for my worst bad English, but uh, I'm, uh, I was invited by uh, Anna and uh, Viviana and uh, um, by Andrea. Uh, I mm, don't know really what uh, we are talking. I, I listen, but uh, I, I am a strange um, presence uh, here because I am a director, an actor, a, a writer uh, for theater mm. with a um, particular interest uh, in uh, performing arts and. Uh, um, so. Yeah, I'm curious uh, about this uh, practice uh, of uh, social practice for perform for arts and uh, because I think uh, in this um, this period of my career, my uh, work uh, is more interesting to uh, um, b b b mixing to mix the uh, the uh, visual art and. Uh, uh, the tradition uh, I, I am I am more uh, interested in the uh, traditional art of uh, performer um, <coughs> we have in Italy uh, the um, uh, tradition of the, the actor uh, in, in, in Italiano we call uh, um, we we name we name we call we call uh, this uh, uh, the art of actor, l'arte mm -hmm. dell'attore. The art of actor is the uh, real tradition of the uh, um, uh, the real tradition of the, the the art of the theater, because uh, um, um, Stanislavski have uh, uh, um, built his uh, method. Uh, studying the, um, the the actors of the diciottesimo uh, secolo, eighteenth century, ma soprattutto above all the uh, regional actors of Italy. That <coughs> I am more uh, interested in this. Um, line of history in this um, transmission of uh, the uh, culture and the uh, um, uh, method, the, the, the history, the um, oral uh, transmission because uh, performing art is, uh, the actor art is a uh, real uh, trans trans transmitted mm -hmm. yeah? uh, by the work on stage. Yeah, uh, not in a lesson or, or in, a, but in a, a, a practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, then I think for my uh, biography, my uh, history of life, and my career, my uh, uh, percorso, percorso, percorso. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. it's more important uh, for me to mixing the, this. Um, um way this way to um uh, re relate uh, relationship with uh, uh, the public the audience the human uh, being mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so i am in a listening set now okay mm -hmm. nice to meet you roberto mm -hmm. roberto and and what uh, was your uh, expectation about a uh, social engaged can art can you speak slowly because yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what was your expectation yeah. uh, when you heard social uh, engaged art practice? Uh, when I go... Uh, the association yeah. to socially nah. okay. engaged? Okay, I uh, understand. Um, I know Viviana and uh, the Vessel, Viviana, Anna and uh, Andrea and the other, uh, and the Vessel Project, and we have uh, met uh, some uh, years ago, uh, and we have uh, a um, uh, pleasure to uh, um, confront. To confront, confront the yeah. to face, to contract, to confront uh, our uh, position about the uh, real, um, uh, real reason to uh, make a work in art. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, for example, we have. Um, uh, staged, staged uh, 
labo laboratory a seminar mm, about uh, the um, on a, a lecture on a reading a reading lecture ma but in um, uh, in conference mm, with the participants with the public uh, in a um, not private uh, ma intima uh, piccola in a um, little in a in a little huh? in a small quella cosa lì <laughs> e about uh, on the um, essay of uh, Giorgio Agamben mm -hmm. the philosopher mm -hmm. uh, about uh, the huh? you worked together uh, yeah 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 with uh, you with you worked together with Antonella with Antonella <laughs> too um what is the name of the essay Yo, yo, no, 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 homo sacer, but, um, um, yeah, no, 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 the contemporary. Okay. I think you know. Was that the last, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's the <laughs> essay of yeah. uh, George Agamben about the uh, state of art and the um, uh, beginning of the critics uh, and the uh, um, transformation, the uh, aesthetics uh, by the um, ancient uh, um, concept of aesthetics uh, mm -hmm. and with, with the individuation of uh, the rule of critics and the rule of artists and with the, the, um, um, the begin of the uh, merchandising, the, um, no, the, 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 the Mercato. The market yeah. of art, yeah. then uh, about the Heidegger position on the philosophy. So uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But 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 the the, labo the, the laboratory, the seminar is uh, more uh, simple. Okay. We are in a okay. circle with um, uh, chairs, and we talk about. Uh, we okay. have uh, read, uh, mm, I think, uh, two pages. Yeah. Then we have discussing about uh, okay. this uh, team, these topics. Um, yeah. Beh, niente, vi conoscevo, ero curioso. I am curious uh, because I mm. know uh, these uh, foolish girls. <laughs> and, uh, okay. <laughs> Great, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what Roberto just said, I think, is uh, somehow very relevant to describe the path <laughs> that uh, Basel also was trying to draw in, in, this, in this scenario, let's say. So we started with him, uh, not just w with Giorgio Agamben, but also we had, we called it um, um, Tavoli di Lavoro. It was like a sort of work in progress that we were doing with several artists from from Puglia, in which the artist would suggest a topic and then we would call experts mm -hmm. in order to respond to the topic. So in this case, um, Roberto was part of this work in progress, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, in which we were speaking about the work of Nico and Julie and the idea of the mechanization of the body. Mm -hmm. And since Nico really wanted to reconstruct a sort of performance, we, we believed that uh, Roberto could give a contribution as a director and as an actor. Yeah. So somehow at that time, now we are three years, ago, we are speaking about three years ago, uh, it was uh, much more related with the idea of interdisciplinarity Mm -hmm. We were not really speaking about social engagement practices. We were trying to work more on mm -hmm. the idea of content and how you can use the research of an artist mm -hmm. and make it visible, even, even not with, with an exhibition, but maybe in a project. And to use really the expertise of people like him that are, in, are based here, are in the region, and they've got like a knowledge that some artists maybe they don't have and we don't have, mm -hmm. and we cannot help with that. So I think that this can, can also be important for all of us to delineate better what has been the passage. I mean, in the beginning, we were just trying to deal with sources, and now we are trying more to understand how to combine this with the social engagement practices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Wow. So <laughs> <fun. laughs> Start to work now. I see this Okay.
I should have to drink a coffee before. <laughs> Another one. Okay. So, uh, I, I'm Pamela, Hi. and uh, I live here in Bari. Uh, after traveling, I think my last uh, place was Sevilla, where uh, it's really developed the social practice. So, mm -hmm. my work is pretty influenced by by that uh, uh, place. And um, my work is in between uh, graphic and formal works and also relational one. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to join the two parts together because um, I like the fact that uh, the relational work is uh, uh, an aesthetic uh, um, and it's close in an aesthetic uh, uh, final uh, uh, thing. Uh, Um, one I developed last year is called uh, Help, and uh, it was a scream for help uh, um, I trace uh, on the rooftop uh, in a neighborhood uh, here in Bari mm -hmm. uh, with um, a connective uh, uh, fabric. Uh, like um, I, I joined <coughs> together like 300 meters of um, textile. Mm -hmm. I collect uh, in, the mm -hmm. in Bari between mm -hmm. friends. Uh, the family, the uh, grandmothers, uh, everybody. So there were these different uh, pieces of this uh, private life. I put on the rooftop, like um, uh, on the floor. Yeah. So this message, on you could read LP. it from, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. from the very top. Actually, yeah. the really surprising thing uh, was that uh, everybody trusts me in giving me keys to, uh, for having the access to the rooftop. Yeah. Uh, and, every, uh, and a lot of people were talking about this work, but nobody saw this work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because nobody ever uh, read this, this, um, these words. Yeah. So uh, it was... Uh, uh, why not? Because it was not, uh, there was no access uh, to get on a no, higher because, uh, spot? The uh, only, the only um, uh, entire view was from an airplane or satellite. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We couldn't, uh, uh, we tried to, have because it was really in a short time, and um, we tried to have uh, uh, this, uh, this shot from the satellite, we couldn't have it, mm. but, but it was a good thing, okay. because uh, uh, this work, um, if you make an image of something, that, that's the work, yeah, yeah. but yeah, then yeah. it yeah, was yeah. not about yeah. that, it was yeah. about... Yeah. Mm -hmm. The relations, yeah, yeah. and the responsibility mm -hmm. because uh, um, uh, there were not a single houses but buildings, uh, condos. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, so uh, there was al always one person who take charge and responsibility for the all. And we know the relationship and dynamics that there are in this uh, in these buildings. No? So it, it was, mm -hmm. I mean, different layers of. Uh, uh, <laughs> there were t 30 buildings, 30, 30. yeah, oh. also crossing the street. And then the people in the building were uh, agreed on the... Topic. In the building, uh, okay, in the whole project that uh, just uh, uh, three uh, people didn't, uh, 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 didn't uh, participate, uh, but in every building uh, there were but mm, I mean, one person who took charge. I had to talk with like uh, mm, the person with the key, or after talking. But uh, there was uh, not. Uh, there, there were never uh, um, a, a reunion. Uh, there were always one per one person who said, "Okay, yes," at the end, not talking with the other, just uh, like uh, uh, taking understanding uh, if it was possible. Mm -hmm. This was... Uh, mm -hmm. And another project uh, uh, I developed uh, recently was uh, um, a, 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 a activation of a collective of women um, uh, um, involved in uh, creativity <laughs> and um, with the protest, protest? with the protest of uh, suing uh, uh, the um, Mm, uh, the urban uh, gaps, uh, practically, like uh, also in the in the floor uh, in ah, the public yeah. space. Ah, okay. So we took 
for, uh, um, um, <coughs> for Klang, it's swing in the in the uh, juridical or in the ah this ah yeah. No, I ah. mean conceptually, like uh, yeah. uh, taking care of the u urban spaces, okay. uh, and it was another uh, protest, mm, like uh, mm, the um, the concrete uh, uh, realization of the thing that was made by like uh, uh, twenty uh, interventi uh, twenty uh, twenty ag intervention actions was another it uh, was the protest for the relation that we we have uh, built uh, between these 30 women mm -hmm. it was about more about that than than about okay. intervention okay. itself because yeah. some were naive some were uh, nice some were funny uh, it was a, a starting starting a process of talking about urban spaces our presence in the city and uh, in the local uh, environment mm -hmm. okay but, uh, mm -hmm. Why just women? Ah, no. Who? Who? Who, are? Who are? Okay. Um, uh, actually, I just uh, knew when I started, like, uh, two of them. And then everybody spread the word. Yeah. Uh, so they were between, uh, um, <laughs> well, artists, uh, uh, graphic designers, uh, uh, sociologists, uh, mm, uh, uh, lawyers, uh, photographers, any kind. Um. And they are still meeting now? Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult uh, uh, because uh, the more you know a person, uh, the more it's difficult to deal with relation. Mm -hmm. It's um, the first time was um, there was a lot about enthusiasm. Mm -hmm and uh, meeting and knowing the other person, but uh, it's uh, when you get deeper, uh, something more arises. So it's uh, a complex situation, but um, uh, yes, no, no. but uh, we are still there and uh, seeing uh, how it's going. And next week there will be an action in Piazza Umberto, which is a really problematic square in Bari. And uh, it's about um, a lot of uh, uh, conflicts because there are uh, immigrants, uh, there are uh, um, homeless uh, living there. Uh, but it's really, uh, for me, it's the most live square in Bari. Do we know that place? Yeah, we were yeah, last day. Ah, yeah. okay. Also, also yesterday? What was no, 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 okay, the last time. Yeah. In my perception, it's really interesting how <coughs> the, this uh, uh, life is, is made by the people that are not from Bari. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, what is happening now that uh, the, um, the government um, <coughs> is trying to, to shut down that. Uh, so but how, how, how could you shut down? Mm. There's a police now on the square, ah, almost all the okay. time, <laughs> controlling okay. Uh, okay. and uh, making um, some law about um, join together. Like uh, if you're more yeah, than yeah, four, yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah, can yeah. stand on the yeah. square, yeah. you yeah, know, yeah. this kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so, or not making market, not using that public space. It's really like anti-social. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. No, uh, pro protesting for sure, uh, but being there. Mm -hmm. It means um, little uh, gesture of, uh, because uh, there are al also um, uh, people, the uh, women are not from Bari, so um, everybody has their own perception of that square, of that place, uh, of, um, so it's uh, like making little gesture, uh, little, um, intervention that does, don't talk about this, uh, these laws or uh, these uh, conflicts, but in a sense it's, it's doing something concre concretely. Not talking, but, but, being, but leaving the place and saying uh, uh, it's, that, it's, it's not, uh, that it's wrong what they're doing and uh, just uh, uh, provoking, but in a soft way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, like. Mm -hmm.
And this is, uh, so you will, when will you start with this project? Or there will be just uh, one day, the 30th. Uh, yeah, yeah. Next week? Yes. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the migrants that are hanging out in that spider are men. Oh, mm -hmm. ah, okay. And uh, there is this strange uh, interaction between uh, women uh, and, uh, and men in that square. I mean, uh, yes. uh, that you very hardly see a woman uh, talking to them. I mean, I was there with, uh, uh, during the summer, uh, we, we had a project for the Daily Materiality, and one of the interventions was uh, from uh, Akantopan, maybe. He was part of the collective survival. And uh, uh, we invited him uh, to, to spend some time in Bali and uh, like to create some sort of alternative narrative about uh, the, the city. So he decided to work with the group of, with some groups of migrants. And basically, he was spending uh, uh, <coughs> days and days just uh, hanging out in that square uh, together with, uh, with them, uh, maybe not even talking to them, just uh, sharing the, the spaces. And uh, the idea was to collect uh, play, to ask them to become DJs and collect play, music playlists for yeah. them. Yeah. And like the, the final moment of uh, exchange of music. Mm -hmm. Just to overcome this idea of the migrant uh, that is uh, identified uh, just as migrant, yeah. but also yeah. just as uh, yeah. the yeah. one that is charged by the identity of the country it comes from, or as yeah. individual. <laughs> yeah. So he yeah. has artistic uh, taste and uh, cultural uh, yeah. uh, like desire. So yeah. And I was constantly with him because uh, I can ask the <laughs> co-producers of the project. And uh, it was really strange. I mean, at one point I realized that I was the only woman uh, talking to them. I was the only woman in, uh, in, mm -hmm. uh, in the square. I yes. mean, beside the, the, the business, mm -hmm. because they mm -hmm. usually they, they yeah. sell stuff, uh, so maybe uh, when they are in, in, into business, they, they, they probably uh, uh, talk to, 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 to women as well. But just uh, the, the, the human relationship, it was just uh, between, uh, between men. So I think mm -hmm. that it's really yeah. fascinating the fact that. Uh, it's women, it's a group of local women taking care of uh, and paying attention to yeah. that. Mm -hmm. There are really special dynamics in that, uh, in mm. that place. But that, uh, does that mean that there are no women meeting at that place? Uh, yeah, there are a lot of women. But there is yeah, no um, interaction. But they, they don't interact very much. <laughs> <laughs> but also maybe you should say, background, yeah. or, I mean, the Because the women, if you enter the square from uh, opposite side from the station, let's say, the first, the first community you encounter is more like Arab community, like mm -hmm. Muslim communities. Okay, mm -hmm. the one it's difficult to generalize. Yes. And then yeah. just afterwards, you start with Moldavian, Ukraine, so Romanian, Badanti, so, no? Mm -hmm. uh, and the first part, okay. which is all okay. men, yeah. all men related, okay. and the second part, which is whole women, whole women related. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> but they are different, and they are not speaking the same language. And, and you know the reason why uh, why there are not from uh, f uh, mixed uh, groups? Well, they are really different cultures. Well, in, in the Arab culture, yeah. like the connection also between the female and the public space is complicated. Mm. I'm not an expert, so I'm not answering this. Mm. But yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like for instance, like for instance, like. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It was great to meet you. Bye. 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 When when I think about the public space, so I w when I think about the park, <coughs> there are a, a lot of women with their kids in the parks. I mean, there and are women too, no? No. Yeah, if you say, if you talk about the Arab uh, community, there are no women. Oh? No yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 
from other, but not from uh, not from the if you Classic. want to call it cultures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it's yeah. so difficult how to call it. But uh, the, the the backgrounds yeah. also they are not mixed. They are more the, the Arab are the men uh, commu more male community yeah. <laughs> meeting, and from the others are more the female. And this yeah. is yeah. kind yeah. of strange. Yeah. Yes. So it's a small island of uh, uh, exactly. uh, Georgia, for example. If you, if you want, you can make a map yeah, of yeah. A, like a political yeah. map. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they yeah. They yeah. Men, they men. Men. Bench. I mean, yeah. they sit there. Uh, yeah. Men, you have Indian and Bangladesh, and Bangladesh. Yeah. maybe yeah. Yeah. men and women. And, uh, mm. they, they okay, are. okay. But okay. all these islands are yeah. not <coughs> Yeah. So this is not what I'm uh, wondering about because this is nowhere on, <laughs> no, on the on the world, yeah. And then sometimes it's it's kind of um, only sometimes, yeah. I think uh, why should they? Yeah? If they feel happy uh, like this, why why asking them? But what was so so strange for me is that um, you don't say there are the <coughs> Arab men and there are the Arab women. But there are no Arab women, and for the other, uh, maybe no men, but only the women. This is strange. There are, there are, I think that there are so many layers, like even mm -hmm. the fact that one culture is meeting the other. In yeah. The, in the Arab culture, the, the condition of women has got certain sort of constraints as well. So maybe, I don't know, maybe they don't like the way in which Italian people, Italian people Italian men maybe can look at their women. Okay. You never know, like mm -hmm. there is this sort of thing. So also, let's say that we are not that familiar with the hijab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe the majority of women are wearing hijab and maybe they feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. no idea. I mean, I, I never yeah. try to ask, but I just noticed that it's really like that. Yeah. Uh, mm. And your uh, um, <laughs> group of women will uh, get in contact uh, with try to get in contact with uh, each of the of the different um, groups yeah. everybody will uh, will make their uh, own thing uh, um, everybody's really free to propose uh, uh, as as everybody wants uh, mm -hmm. intervention there's not a specific relational intervention mm -hmm. uh, but uh, of course we will share a space so mm -hmm. i think that through this uh, uh, this situation, we'll get in contact. That's another deeper uh, investigation uh, about a group of women uh, living uh, there and meeting there, which are um, from Georgia, and they are uh, badanti. Uh, women taking care of uh, elder oh yeah, people. Oh yeah. mm -hmm. Because there's another uh, word. Uh, moving there they meet uh, like uh, uh, there's a day like uh, thursday where they meet there in this space all together because there's a truck coming uh, uh, and they uh, they send uh, stuff to georgia i mean mm. so there's a lot uh, mm -hmm. uh, to do in that okay. square we are just okay. approaching and uh, um and right now you're not aware of what the other <coughs> We are, yeah, we we are ex exchanging. Uh, this time was a bit more uh, difficult because of uh, everybody was busy. Because um, we try to have the, to have um, a method of uh, meeting because uh, there's uh, an internet platform in inner. Uh, uh, there's uh, a public one, but of course there's an inner an inner one uh, where we share opinion and. Uh, and things, but it's really difficult to do it uh, uh, on the web because we're, we're a lot of people. So uh, the method was to, to meet uh, once a week before the event. Let's let me uh, because of the ephemeral uh, doing we are I think we are uh, we are going to do. Uh, s but this in this case uh, also meeting once uh, once a week and discussing. Everybody present the project that we discuss and everybody adds something. In this case uh, was really not possible to do that. Uh, but uh, we mm, more or less know what the other people is is going to do. Um, 
But not, not really, exactly. There is no documentation mm -hmm. coming with the project. It's just a one day thing and <coughs> Uh, documentation like uh, making a picture videos of yeah yeah we did already and uh, that's really important uh, there's also a video maker uh, who's um, recording our our meetings ah, yeah. it's starting mm -hmm. to do th that yeah. I don't know Please. with all this material what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah because Because I, I just wanted to add something about what I said before, because it's, if not in my mind, it sounds too much like the reaction of the Arab women towards the Occidental culture, which is not what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. um, because, I mean, even um, in some Arab countries, I cannot generalize um, the one that I know, yeah. uh, there are official meetings like funerals mm -hmm. or weddings in which women and mm -hmm. men are separated for yeah. celebration. Yeah. So this is another point. I mean, there for sure, culturally, there is something about the fact that the women position within society and the men position within, within society is, is perceived and managed in a different way mm -hmm. that we do over a year. Not yeah, yeah. that much, yeah, yeah. really, because we also have mm, things in which we are separated, but not that much anymore. But yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I suppose that this plus the adaptation and hybridization of communities in this context is producing this sort of effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this can help, but this yeah, is yeah. what. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, maybe I should clarify that what I meant is that <laughs> the local women, uh, local women, women from Bari are not uh, having any any sort of interaction, or me not even talk to some of this community. Especially, I think that the most problematic one is the um, Senegalese. Yes. I mean, uh -huh. this is the one that uh, I think the government wants to to chase. Uh huh. Because they are uh, connected uh, in. In their mind, in the government mind, they are just connected with uh, uh, drug oh yeah, or uh, yeah, yeah, with drug <laughs> dealing, yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah. which is not yeah. true. Yeah, which yeah. is not true. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so uh, mm -hmm. now they are doing uh, <laughs> whatever they can in order to make this community disappear from that square. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's why I think that it's uh, quite fascinating that uh, it's uh, a group of women taking care of it because. I don't know how you're going to do it, but <coughs> ideally, also metaphorically, for me, it means a lot. Mm -hmm. Because, I don't know, I think that there is this uh, easy connection between um, the Senegalese uh, uh, men uh, and uh, some uh, violent practices towards men. There is this sort of, uh, uh, towards women, uh, I think that there is this sort of uh, strange uh, connection. Um, that uh, I think it should be a bit uh, deconstructed and uh, rethought. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And and uh, what is uh, the the reaction of the of the people in Paris to the decision of the? politicians to, to clear there's, this? There's a lot of things uh, going on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There will be, in this month, uh, the next month, will be there will be a lot of uh, manifestation and things. Okay. Yeah. So most of the uh, people living here are uh, fine with the people in the park and against the uh, uh, political... Uh, this square is like uh, two, like Dr. Jekyll, both Dr. Jekyll and Mr. I, I mean, the, it has uh, really two parts. Yeah, uh, because yeah. there's the, uh, yeah. in the night it's one thing, and the day it's uh, it's another. Yeah. In mm. the day you can just cross and be fine, yeah. but in the night uh, mm, yeah. there are some parts where uh, a lot of things going on. And uh, people don't feel safe. Yeah. Also. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like also prostitute. They told yeah. me about prostitution yeah. and yeah. Uh, violence. Uh, mm -hmm. So we are open. We are open, uh, opening a dialogue uh, mm -hmm. and trying to to figure out also how we see that we can't just uh, um, criticize the law because there's yeah. a, a strict, of course, really strict way of uh, trying to uh, solve problems. Uh, but maybe it also comes from <coughs> us. Mm -hmm at the way we, we live uh, spaces, the, the thing we can do for, for a space, we can just wait for something. So 
we are trying to um, figure out how. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Do you also, uh, yeah. Maybe we can have uh, some, you know, uh, oh sorry. I just wanted to ask if we can write down maybe email or website addresses after it, because uh, there are so many things, interesting things going on, which we can maybe later yeah. look into again. <laughs> Um, cazzo. Raccontare. Talk. Tell, tell, tell us. Um, <laughs> I have, I have had a déjà vu. Mm -hmm. No déjà vu. I have a, um, discover my begin now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, because my first action in theater was a performance installation on a place mm -hmm. uh, in my city. Probably I, have, uh, I haven't um, uh, told you uh, this. Now, if you, you want, I uh, talk, okay. Um, in the uh, 20 years ago, probably, yeah. I was, uh, yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. When I was uh, already 18, 18 or 19, yeah. Um, at the last year of uh, uh, upper school, uh, okay. Um, in in my town, uh, in my city, we mm, the, the young people. Uh, with an interest in music or uh, visual art, I I, I have began uh, in fact uh, with uh, paint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we tried to um, make a cultural cultural association. Okay. Um, with an interest in uh, social practice and uh, music and uh, other arts. Then. Uh, I, I, I'm coming, I, I, I was come, I, I come uh, from a big little town on the, in the hinterland of uh, Bari, mm -hmm. Altamura, mm -hmm. it's a rich town, but it's more um, related than um, connected with the, um, the past. Okay, uh, like uh, more uh, interland of the Europe. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> then um, I think I, I always uh, I, I I have always thought that my uh, town, in particular, is a, a little uh, political la laboratory mm -hmm. of the Italian situation. Mm -hmm. For example. Uh, more time um, prima before, before the um, Berlusconi uh, coming mm. in uh, politics, we have some p some particular uh, characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> characters, <laughs> uh, political um, characters in uh, our city that. Uh, um, Anticipate Berlusconi <laughs> style of to make poly. <laughs> um, yeah, then um, I am younger than uh, now. Uh, I am um, with an interest in philosophy and paint. Uh, I am a, a, a boy from province town. I am against. Uh, I am of left. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I smoke ganja. Uh, <laughs> okay, I am a, I am a long hair. Um, I am with I, I now I am without hair. <laughs> but uh, twenty years ago I I uh, was long hair. Okay, <laughs> this is the um, no mm -hmm. the screenshot the, the yeah. paisage mm -hmm. yeah the yeah. background yeah. Oh, okay, I am an actor. I'm yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. explain the stage my design. okay. <laughs> Then, I think, uh, pff, I, no, I, I don't want to, I, I, I not uh, paint on the, the, the place, on uh, the place, the, uh, no, place, uh, place, share, uh, place, piazza. 
Please. On square, square. okay. Yeah. I don't, because we have uh, chose uh, a big square uh, in the town to make a uh, um, extemporary of art uh, when the young uh, painter, uh, okay. Um, the musical groups groups uh, make music. A young uh, province um, manifestation of art. Okay. Then I think no, no, no. I don't want to uh, make painter painter in. A, on a, I I prefer to paint in my atelier in my. Okay. Then I think. Well, what can I, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I want to do a, a provocative uh, action, okay? Then I think uh, I, I I I make a performance, but a performance with an installation performance. Mm -hmm. Then I think, wh wh what is the mm, nerve, the nerve uh, that with I can. Uh, uh, provoke my uh, my audience my uh, companions my uh, the CD uh, my CD then I think okay allora, um, I want to uh, make a reflection a thought uh, on art and uh, I have thought uh, this uh, this the um, relationship that we have with the art is a devotional, devotional mm -hmm. uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, stay uh, really in a relationship with a paint, uh, like the, a god or mm -hmm. an icon, okay? Uh, mm, like the relationship of um, a really devotion with a god. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I think, if I take uh, to explain um, at, uh, at, at an audience uh, that no, not um, um, <coughs> have a, a real uh, knowledge on uh, this uh, argument, um, the, the relationship with the uh, uh, masterpiece, okay? How I can provoke this reflection, mm -hmm. this thought, okay. If we have a devotional um, relationship with the icon, with the, a paint, I choose, like in the tradition, a religious paint, mm -hmm. and I uh, make uh, this like a carpet, mm -hmm. and I invite the people to uh, uh, throw, <laughs> hmm? passare, yeah. throw, yeah. to throw and mm -hmm. talk and uh, walk, to walk, walk yeah. on. Okay, in a uh, you, you know. In um, southern Italy, we have uh, a big um, culto, cult, cult, cult yep. of uh, Madonna, mm -hmm. of the saints. Okay, um, maybe uh, every uh, little town have a, a particular Madonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the Madonna of uh, uh, Good Walk, ah. Buon Cammino. Oh. Then I call the, uh, this uh, performance Buon Cammino, Good Walk. <laughs> I make a carpet with uh, 100 uh, um, photocopies Copy. of mm -hmm. uh, the big image of uh, the Madonna. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, oh. I, I love you. Imagine the yeah. reaction <laughs> of yeah. the audience. Oh my God, yeah. Uh, <sighs> But this is a good uh, provocation yeah. because uh, um, I innescato is the startup of uh, a big uh, discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, no, no, no. I have <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have called by the diocese of uh, diocese by the church. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have called by uh, <laughs> the um, police uh, chief yeah. because the um, fascist uh, syndical owner, major, the fascist major of oh. uh, my town. Uh, we have in a, we we are in a, the time of elections. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Then he uh, caught the occasion to uh, uh, talk bad of the left uh, party, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sa saying uh, a boy of left have uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> go, go the Madonna and uh, <laughs> invite to walk on his no is a blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> then I was really uh, <laughs> happy to <laughs> make, yeah, yeah. But you have to leave the city. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I, uh, like a good artist, uh, make a good promotion of myself. <laughs> <laughs> then I start <laughs> up to uh, <laughs> theater. No, 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 I, I uh, thank you, I thank uh, her, Roberto, Pamela, to, uh, have you, you have a... Uh, uh, remembered me uh, this uh, action. Then I, I, I'm not an actor. I'm a, I'm a performer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> it's mine now. Should I talk now about me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So. Um, not all of you have been here in the morning, so I'm. my name is Claudia, this is Martina, we are from the Vienna-based artist group Wochenklausur. <laughs> and um, we are a collective that is trying to deal also with reality. We're using art as a tool to make changes in reality, to um, create different situations. Um, we do this in a very specific way. Sorry. No, no, I don't, I don't ah, no, <laughs> no, no, continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry for maybe you. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I should say, <laughs> ten years ago when I joined the group and I had long hair <laughs> 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 and I was young and. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> no, I was talking about the method we are using to. Um, to do our project is a very specific one. Uh, Wochenklausur, um, our name is also describing uh, how we are working because we are creating kind of closed <laughs> sessions over a certain amount of time, usually between the shortest project was two weeks actually and the longest about maybe 16 weeks or 20 weeks. And uh, during these projects, we're trying, uh, we start usually with the research, or we are creating a concept, how to make a, a specific thing within reality different. Uh, and the most important thing is also we turn our ideas into life. So to give an example, um, I use again the first project, which was in Vienna 1993, when we uh, invented the medical care for homeless people and for people without insurance, so that they can see a doctor whenever they need it. Um, and this, um, yeah, there was a mobile clinic created and this clinic is still, I mean, not the exact same, but a third bus is now going around in Vienna from meeting point to meeting point. There are doctors working inside and, uh, treating about, yeah, I don't know, six to seven, more 700 people per month free of charge. And since then we um, created about 40 projects meanwhile on different issues. Uh, some were more environmental issues in Chicago, for example, on invitation of the Smart Museum. We created a network to use, to reuse discarded material from cultural institutions to turn them into furniture that can be used by social institutions who usually do not have the uh, possibilities to buy an extra garden furniture for people who want to sit out in the courtyard or whatever. And so we created this network and uh, it's very important for us that during this amount of time we are, we are having on a specific side, uh, we as artists, using all our possibilities, we are using the art institution who is inviting us to get appointments with important people, with decision makers, with opinion leaders, to create something that can, uh, if it makes sense for the <coughs> concept, that can live on after we are leaving the site again. So that's most important, that, there, that you can really see a difference uh, before and after. And that's actually also, that's our, that's our art, the difference we leave behind. Uh. Maybe one, uh, one uh, because w uh, we already mentioned uh, in the morning, it's really extremely um, important for us to use 
to use art, uh, to use the status as an artist, because we are more allowed to do things more than others, only of because we are artists. Um, and also, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's also in your what is um, constitution, the state constitution, there's the freedom of art. Most uh, countries do have this constitution, so it, it gives you an extra, um, how do you say, bonus, yeah? Uh, and maybe one of uh, one of the uh, uh, projects uh, we did, which describes it uh, quite good, uh, we used it extra. Was the project in Graz? Mm -hmm. It's also in Austria. The the right wing um, party uh, is is growing more and more, and it started in the 90s. Uh, and there was an extra wave of uh, refugees because of the Kosovo and Bosnian war. And the right wing was always complaining, uh, are there all the asylum seekers sitting around and we have to feed them and they don't even work. They are not allowed to work when the, they don't have the permission to stay. They are not allowed to work. And so they, they, uh, they are really uh, kind of um, not only that they are poor, they don't have any money. They only get a little allowance from the state, which uh, <laughs> is kind of nothing. So they most of them really want to, to work and have jobs, but they were not allowed. And then we used an, uh, um, we found a lack into the in the in the law, in the Austrian law, which allowed uh, artists to stay as long as they can prove that they can live from the art in Austria. So then they only need uh, someone who say, okay, I commission you to paint me or to, to make an exhibition or whatever. And then they could <laughs> stay in Austria without the um, extra permission to stay or without the work permit. And then uh, we said, okay, since we are artists, we can de declare uh, refugees as artists. So <laughs> you are an artist because we say you're an artist and we find your commissioners. And so, they got, uh, we, we made a model with uh, seven artists, uh, seven refugees, but we said they are artists now and we found you commissioners uh, who say you have to make a, uh, uh, an exhibition. Uh, and so they had the permission to stay as long as they want and as long as uh, the, the institutions, the art institutions paid for them and they made uh, really exhibitions, but they, for example, one uh, was from uh, um, a, a Kurdish, uh, do you say K Kurdi Kurdish? Kurdish. Kurd from Kurdistan, yeah, and he was a refugee. And he uh, uh, gathered uh, food for, for the kids in his uh, village, and then it was kind of nicely installation in the in the in an exhibition and what was in the artwork uh, and so it's it's really it's always about searching what can we as artists and with the tool of the art um, um, help s for small uh, we, we never can solve the world's problem that would be r really naive but in 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 small uh, things what can we improve what's can be our uh, contribution. Um, yeah, next uh, making the mm, nice and beautiful pictures <laughs> so also have another impact on on, on uh, yeah improving situations. And for me, it's actually also <laughs> about participation. You know, because uh, I mean. Um, in Austria and in Europe, there's a lot of public money also going into the art scene, yeah, and everyone uh, should have access to it. But in real, it's completely different. I mean, who is going to the museums? Who is looking at all these like famous uh, Damien Hirst and etc.? And I think it's also important, kind of, to 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 open up the art space for everyone who's who's in this society, and not only for distinctive people who uh, have the feeling that they are allowed to enter and who have the background to enter or whatever you want to say. So that's also something I think is, is important yeah. for, for our work. And there's uh, maybe uh, one, one, uh, one of the things, we like you, I think, have always to defend yourself as an artist when you're working in this way is kind of uh, then uh, this you you instrumentalize the art to instrumentalize yeah. 
instrumentalization of art for, for political or social things. And what, what we say or what I think, that I, I, I can't imagine one piece of art and even it's only a nice ornament on a building which is not working as an instrument. It's working as an instrument, it has had worked, has worked, uh, for as an instrument over hundreds and hundreds and thousands thousand of years for the church, for example. Or for banks, or f if a bank uh, uh, shows uh, art, it's also, but no one asked those artists and say, hey, you instrumentalize the art for the purpose of the bank or for the purpose of this church or whatever. It's always uh, getting this, uh, was this angry? Attacking uh, the artists working in the social or political field, and hey, you should start to instrumentalize the holy art or so, yeah? The uh, art is an instrument, has never been anything else than an instrument, and you only have to decide for what or for whom you will use it as an instrument. This is up to you as an artist if you want to work with your art or w as an artist for church, for, for bank, for uh, private or for a social uh, or engaged thing. So this is only what I want to say because we always hearing and I'm as I'm sure all these artists working in this uh, field always hear this um, this Vorwurf? Is this Vorwurf? <laughs> Sorry? Critique, yeah, this critique, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering uh, uh, how did it change the way you defend uh, your own position as artist uh, in the socially engaged realm? Let's call it socially engaged yeah. because now this is a label that yeah, <laughs> yeah. we are putting it in order yeah. to understand, but. Uh, it's not necessarily the case. Uh, I, I was wondering how did it uh, change in the last uh, 20 years uh, the way you uh, defend your yeah. position of, uh, as, uh, as artist because al also the context around you has changed a lot and yeah. uh, there are yeah. um, many, um, also the fact that we are t speaking about social engaged art practice there is, uh, means that there is already a sort of codification of uh, uh, of these practices. Yeah. Uh, so I, yeah. I was wondering uh, if if it has changed and uh, yeah. how. So, yeah. So I would <laughs> say in the beginning when we started um, the critique was this is no art. This is, as I said, social work and it has nothing got to do with art because there is no uh, aesthetical outcome you can uh, post in a museum, in a gallery, uh, uh, or you can sell uh, as, as an art object um, and you are really acting like uh, social workers. So this was the main, uh, main critique uh, within the art scene, um, which was um, for us, uh, yeah, kind of not easily, but, but since we were convinced that this is art, uh, uh, we we really maintain to repeat and repeat why we think this is art because there are there is a tradition in working like this uh, as we already mentioned the Russian constructivists already try to get really much into the life and out of the museum and have an impact into social life and into the development of uh, um, society. Uh, um, and in the 60s and in the 70s, like Joseph Boyce and the Artist Placement Group, they already started with this. Um, and that, it's, that art is nothing which, which has been the same through the history of art. It's always changing. It has always uh, been what, what a certain community 
defined what it is and it can change it that tomorrow it can change it can be it, it could be something else could add to the to the to the categories the different <laughs> categories of art if it's theater if it's painting if it's music uh, and it's always how should it? It was always uh, something is then not art anymore, but something entered the art realm. And but this, I would say, this is nearly no one confronts us anymore with this has nothing got to do. This is kind of accepted. But now it's much more about, as we said, the art uh, uh, surf for 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 people who work in the in the social uh, engaged realm work um yeah they they just um take the responsibility from the politic so we work like um the politic call the artists and say solve this problem and we don't have uh, to work for it anymore which we say we just always give it back to the politics so we we start a project but then we search that the that the long term run of the project will be paid by public money if not if it's not in the public um situated then by others um yeah or it comes with the instrumentalization but th this is really there is a lot of I, I I see the problem because uh, it's really I mean I, you you will uh, experience this in your work it's it's really kind of that um, the local especially the local uh, politics really more and more ask uh, artists or artists group if there are problems in the neighborhood or so ah, let's make an art project there maybe they can uh, kind of uh, calm calm it down yeah but um if they do if 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 they really make a good project so what's the problem i mean uh, again uh, they can ask me to paint uh, the wall of the 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 office in the municipality so what's the problem if calling an artist uh, just to go into the society and and see if if there is a possibility to manage but i see i, I see uh, the danger i i totally see it uh, but you have just to be aware of this is i mean we may, maybe we can uh, uh, also tell that we were w that we really failed with one of uh, the projects because we were not aware of who was inviting us and then it's our pro then it's our fault and then we have say okay this we we were not really um we did not really pay enough attention because if you are going to be invited by an institution you should also know why do they invite you and is this really the institution <laughs> who is inviting you is it someone behind and who wants really to instrumentalize you in a wrong way but then really it's, it's kind of in Every if if someone w uh, ask you to play uh, or to write a play or uh, to paint, you always has to ask what is the impact of the play? Who is paying me? Do I work for this maybe uh, party or uh, purpose or whatever? You have to do in every kind of uh, artistic work. You should be sure what is your impact and what whom are you working for? So I mean, of course, it's a question all of us have always to be aware. It makes no difference to to the m more traditional, uh, like painters, arts, or so. Yeah, I, w I was also thinking now about that uh, this question of failure very often comes up, also nowadays. <laughs> but I think it's also a question of responsibility for me more. You know, it's like. You have to be responsible. I mean, of course, there's always a chance that you fail with the project. But, um, I mean, we're trying to do everything to really research and maybe especially with this one project where we definitely failed and it was not really us who was in charge of, of the things. Um, this made us, you know, maybe brought us back to this, okay, we, we really have to be very conscious about what we are doing and we have to research and we... 
we have a big responsibility, but this is not like uh, I don't want to have it, and then because <coughs> and now I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah, because there is the potential of failure within it. I still want to do it, and I want to take on this responsibility. When you are invited in a, for an exhibition in a certain place in a certain city, uh, you extend one of the projects you were working on before and you will bring that format, that research in that museum and uh, you will uh, try how to formalize it or you will try to engage with that specific place. I mean, if it's a place that has a specific reason why you want to investigate or, or you just think, I would like to know how you work on this uh, kind of a direction. You know, for example, you are invited in New York and you think I should engage with, uh, I don't know, Bronx, stuff like this, mm -hmm. or you will just show there and a project already you are working on and... Uh I mean, sometimes we, we, only we also show documentation work. We are not always creating a new project. <laughs> um, but for us it is very important to make sure that this documentation is not our artwork. So this is not, you know, what's then hanging on the wall, that's our art, but it's the project we have done. And we do this sometimes to just show documentation in case there's actually no other chance. But uh, what we definitely prefer is to start a project and then we are, you know, um, sometimes the exhibition has a specific title as for the project in Chicago, for example, what I was uh, describing before where we created this network. It has a, a topic on sustainability and, and environmental issues. It was called Beyond Green towards a, towards a sustainable art. And so for us, this was a starting point where we, you know, uh, created our ideas from where we started to think about and... Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, a lot of a lot of waste is also created by art institutions themselves, especially in Chicago, as storage space there is like they cannot afford to store things, so it's it's easier and and cheaper for them to throw it away. And if there is a new show coming on, they build it again. Yeah, and there is a lot of material such as uh, fiberglass or, or wood or potests or concrete or whatever that is yeah left over actually. And so this <laughs> is how we created this idea around. So there, there was the, the, the topic of the exhibition was the starting point. But sometimes we are completely free and then we start to research and then and, and discussing within the group and creating maybe two or three thoughts. And then, you know, also the time frame we're having is kind of a limit. Uh, you cannot do everything in three weeks or you can't do the same in, in three weeks what, uh, as you can do in 12 weeks, for example. Yeah, you can do something... You can only do, or, yeah, according to the limits you're having. And if you have nine people, nine artists working together for 12 weeks, it's something different than if you have three people working for four weeks. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think you was also asking if we have a model and a project which we can do uh, depend on, I mean, not depending on the site. We really try to develop <laughs> very site-specific um, uh, projects. Um, and I can't, I c but I can remember that at least one, uh, because we were invited in, in a st German uh, city, Augsburg, and to a, to a topic which was called water. And there is really no problem with water in this uh, region, uh, really not. So it was of course not site specific, but um, <coughs> uh, they had, uh, for example, the, the, the whole city had the target to be the competence center of um, of environmental technology and so they had these competence centers and universities and a lot of them dealt uh, or, the, or th are dealing with water things <laughs> and so we said okay then uh, make partnerships with uh, regions who have water <laughs> problems um, like partnerships with, there were three people working, one from Bangladesh, one from uh, Togo, and one from Sri Lanka. And uh, they all have extremely water problems. Uh, for example, when uh, in, in Bangladesh, they have, have this, do you say well? well? 
Peruvian, yeah. well, which are extremely um, um, mercury, mercury toxinated. And uh, so it was uh, then we said, okay, we make a pool and there are the, the, the water experts here and, then and there and, blah, 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 and all these competent centers and just work together. So bring them together to try to, to solve the problems where there are water problems. So this was really not site specific uh, in a way, uh, but mostly uh, if the given topic of the inviting institution is not contradicting, what's mostly not, we, we really try to be very, very local with uh, with our because you need the people you need to talk to the people i, I mean we can't uh, put a, a, a project somewhere where there is n no need uh, or something for this yeah Uh, um, nearly not <laughs> so we are this it, it's a we then when we are invited uh, we use the exhibition space as an office so we say we need uh, internet access we need phone chairs tables uh, and then we use over a couple of weeks uh, the space as an office and the people, like the can enter yeah 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 and mostly mostly yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is one really funny story in Augsburg. <laughs> <laughs> the best interpretation of Wochenklausur ever. We we were in the gallery uh, and had uh, there was another exhibition exhibition at the same time, and we had the space of the gallery and had our office. And there was one visitor, <coughs> he swear, was repeatedly uh, visiting us and started with complaining about the mess on our table. It's such a mess uh, on your working table and all the cables. It's I, 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 I couldn't work like this and this doesn't look like my working place. And I said, yeah, okay, sorry, but uh, we have really... <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> And one thing we always have for each project is a big, big, big calendar. Do you say calendar? And where we post all the meetings and y one has to call there. P please call uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. so and Mr. So and meet, go to the meeting. And it's really full with these post-its. And he was always making pictures of this. And we said, okay, fine, it's okay. And then he was saying, what are you doing here? And then we explained the project, what we are doing here. And, and he was not really interested and said, and what are you really doing here? Now we are really working on this project. And do you now search for your next invitation? We said, no, we are working on this project. And after the fifth time when he was uh, visiting us, we realized that he thought our art project is we are actors pretending an office. <laughs> And they're like, please call Mr. <laughs> so and so. And this was all fake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we were so, it was so great. And we were, I thought, this is such a big idea. He should do that. <laughs> it's, uh, and then he was completely disappointed. And then he said, oh, you're really working on this problem. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, that was really great. Yeah. It's actually somehow a very, let's say, trendy question or popular question or, I don't know, a common question at the moment. Because we are all wondering what is the best way to try to make visible something that is yeah. more a sort of participatory mm -hmm. or uh, engaging sort of profile. Yeah. So that is always very complicated. Yeah. For sure, there are, there are very good examples. Mm -hmm. Like, um, Moken Klausler has been working with the Smart Museum, and the, if I'm not wrong, the yeah. curator in charge for the project was Stephanie Smith. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, she's the deputy director for the Smart of Chicago, and this is one of her biggest questions, which is really how to try to formalize also the, the exhibition, the social media practices. And, and she's devoting a lot of time to this sort of exhibition in order to show. One of mm -hmm. the biggest examples was this exhibition about hospitality, it was called Fist. Mm -hmm. I don't know if yeah. you yeah. part of, of 
No, but we'll be no. Yeah. And, and they will be part from next month on uh, to the Arte Util exhibition, which also it will be like another example about yeah. how you can really formalize within an exhibition several sorts of yeah. such a language or projects. Yeah. So it's, it's a very broader question. It's, it's very yeah. difficult and, and potentially I don't think that exhibiting the social engagement practice has got the final aim of giving the sense of the engagement yeah. part or the participation. Mm. It's, it's much more about trying to somehow give in hints about the, the process and the development yeah. of the project itself. Because I, I, it's the only, I mean, you cannot fake participation. You, you yeah. cannot try to all of a sudden pretend that there is a participant that is just basically part of the final step of something that has, has got a very long, long, long process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's also difficult for us, you know, we always struggle with documentation actually. It's, uh, I mean, there's always one in the team who is, you know, in charge <laughs> of making photos, for example, and there are sometimes uh, people in the team, in the Wochenklausur team, who are doing a lot of photos, yeah. But in the end, if you're looking at them, it's always people talking with each other. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> and that's like so <laughs> non saying anything because this could be everywhere in the world. No one knows what we were talking about. <laughs> it's like this situation here, yeah. I mean, I can use it for every Wochenklausur project because we did it in all the projects, yeah. It's really. And sometimes then if we, you know, build up, for example, a hut to kind of, you know, um, s um, 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 design um, discussions, yeah. And if we make a photo of that, then it's so easily, you know, if, if someone is not interested in reading the text with it, the people might think, aha, they are building huts, yeah. And yeah. that's their art, mm. yeah. They, they, they're building huts in public space and they look funny and crazy and that's what it is about, yeah. So it's really tricky for us and I mean, I still feel like a, a text-based description is needed, although we know, you know, no one wants to stand somewhere and read like hundreds of pages of text, but otherwise it's difficult to describe it. I mean, a lot of our photos are really not super... <laughs> Nice. Most yeah. of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Martina is our hardest critic. <laughs> it's always we have to present to Martina. She said, no, no, no. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's true. Yeah, it's difficult and how, I mean, it's a lot about uh, some small details which are difficult to describe, you know, only in one or two sentences. It's, it's, it is possible, but on the other hand, we don't want someone to, you know, misunderstand of what we are doing and thinking, this what is here on the on the art, on the wall is our <laughs> art. Yeah, we're trying our best. Mm. <laughs> I mean, our, our I would say the main uh, documentation is uh, the web uh, our website. So there is each single project and also uh, sex sections uh, about the art. Uh, what why we uh, think this is art and our about our methods and so so this is the most important but of course if we are asked only to to contribute an exhibition not with a project but with uh, things of course we we use the uh, the possibility and then we have text with photos so that's i mean it's not i mean it's not really very exciting but uh, it's text with photos, yeah, and some few videos we do have, yeah. I wanted to say we're doing videos, but that's also not always so easy because, I mean, everyone knows that if someone is coming to your office and there is a third person with a video camera, yeah, this I is mean, how yeah. do you feel? Uh, no matter yeah. how much we are already used to, to being filmed, but... I mean, it's like entering kind of an intimate at atmosphere and then someone is, do you mind if I uh, make a video because yeah. we need it for documentation? It is strange somehow. Yeah. Yeah. And most of the negotiations are not to be yeah. recorded, yeah. you know, <laughs> because you deal then with um, people you need uh, to get on your side. So, but yeah, it's, it's then uh, you do it, yeah. yeah. And Price Day is doing mainly project about farming. It's very mm -hmm. difficult to show yeah. what Price Day yeah. is doing. So they decided to use a much more uh, celebrative approach, to which they were having dinners, mm -hmm. they yeah. were a very big mortadella <laughs> in, the, in the center of the yeah. affair, yeah. people were enjoying that moment, and it was some.
somehow, I mean, also more approachable for, for general public if you want, but at the same time it was um, a moment to pin up at the end of certain processes. Maybe not the end of the world project, I don't know at what stage was the, the, the project they were presenting, but nevertheless it was somehow, mm -hmm. you know, very party style, you know, and it was nice. It, it mm -hmm. was a, another way to engage with something. Then the spectator can, can possibly perceive it as something very superficial, like, oh, they are cutting the mortadella, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or we can just think that since there is no other way to really try to engage with something that is so complex, like mm, being part of a farming situation, this is one of the best results that you can have, because it is not always just to, to, to give, I don't know, an ethical sort of profile to the social engaged practice. Mm -hmm. can be also to and it's an aesthetic point of view. It's a, it's an aesthetic. So anyway, I think that this kind of work has an aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, no, in, in this case, I don't look at that like an aesthetic thing at all. I'm just I'm just thinking that um, sometimes, in order to be fair to what you are saying, uh, you don't have to to somehow show the deepest part of your project. Like it can happen that in order to be fair, you, you understand that your topic is so complex that it's much better to take just one element, one detail, and to expand it and to put mm -hmm. it in the public mm -hmm. realm. With, I mm -hmm. don't know if you agree with that. This, this is how I feel. So maybe mm -hmm. instead of just following all the process of how you produce cheese, it can be nice just to be there and try some cheese. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, exactly because you know that there would be there wouldn't be any other way to really formalize in a good way what mm -hmm. you have done because it's a very complex process. So it's not just about aesthetic; it's also about to be fair and coherent with your topic. Sometimes you know that you have the con the context and the correct situation to really expand upon your project. Some other times, I can give you an example. Um, I, I invited Fernando Garcia Dori, which is an artist that is working with Grisdale, to present a project in the Athens Biennial. And already a biennial is a very complicated context where to do something in which, in general, people are expecting a result that can be highly aestheticized, you know, very beautiful. Okay. Um, and the project that Fernando wanted to present is a project that he is actually running uh, together with a group of architects called uh, whale architects and some in independent artists from Greece. And it's about the observation of the economy of some small islands in Greece and the connection between farming and the islands. He decided, together with his people, that the best way was to present just the material of the research. So people would go there, there was a table with a television and some of these materials, and they would go through the material. But also he understood that just that wouldn't be enough to, to have a complex idea of the project. So actually, we decided to activate twice that installation, let's call it like that. One time there was like a sort of round table presentation with Tanya Bruguera, the whale architects, Fernando himself and other experts about the island to give a broader context to the public about what is the project about. Also because it's, a, it's, a, it's in a starting up stage. It just began, so it's very difficult. And then there was another moment in which him, by himself, was in front of the installation and touching upon different sort of topics, going from one picture to the other. So he created a sort of narration for the public, in order for the public to connect all the different details and layers of the project. I'm not saying that this is the only solution, but this for him was the, the best solution and the fairest one for the project, because he really wanted to give as more as possible a narrative about what he is going to do which has not been done. Not yet, yeah. Uh, if you think, uh, you have a call uh, narration. <laughs> yeah, narration and uh, narrativity uh, connection is, uh, for example, um, for me is more important, the uh, function of art in uh, Middle Age, or in all the history of the art. Uh, then I think uh, uh, probably if you have don't read uh, if you have not read uh, the um, a man without contents yeah the essay mm -hmm. of Giorgio mm -hmm. Agamben is um, real the uh, the real uh, analysis of this uh, time of world uh, because the, um, the real uh, point of the the essay is when the aesthetics. 
uh, aesthetic is um, begun, not uh, the real uh, uh, perception, like in the ancient philosophy, hmm? uh, but uh, the, um, the taste of critics. When the artist uh, is um, began divided in the um, mentalized uh, taste mm -hmm. and uh, to make art, um, then when the critics, the rule of critics is uh, began, and uh, with a big uh, heretical, I, I call. Uh, the situation, heretical inversion of the rule. Um, the critic um, direct the artist to produce mm -hmm. the art. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, natural that uh, the uh, relationship with the audience, with the world, with the social practice is uh, uh, fractured, is mm -hmm. uh, out. Pro yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, with uh, a big complex of uh, concepts, uh, um, Agamben is uh, more able to, uh, to um, re recover, discover, re reappropriate uh, the, um, some uh, uh, ancient concepts of uh, the uh, ancient aesthetics, of, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Hellenic and uh, Aristotelic aesthetics, mm -hmm. for example. He uh, um, talk about uh, Elderlin, the uh, German poet Friedrich Friedrich Elderlin. Ah, Elderlin, yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, um, like the um, uh, figure uh, that um, su support um, in, um, incarna incarna. Uh, huh? Embody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like a figure that embody mm -hmm. the real uh, uh, time in his uh, own uh, person, in his own uh, in individual, mm -hmm. uh, to the um, contraposition uh, by idealism, uh, romanticism, but in uh, a sort to uh, um, a kind of to um, fight with uh, uh, the reason of body and the uh, relation with the, the world and the social world and the, the audience mm -hmm. and uh, the um, mentalized culture that uh, uh, is uh, began in the uh, 18th century with the, the begin of uh, the critics that uh, um, uh, direct the, the artist. Mm -hmm. um, then one concept, uh, fundamental concept of uh, that aesthetic of uh, Helderlin is <coughs> rhythm, rhythm in the um, uh, Greco? Greek, Greek, Greek um, uh, acception, uh, rit rhythmos. Mm -hmm. Rhythmos is not the rhythm, but is uh, uh, the um, time space and the time space relationship with the pose mm -hmm. is a, a completely another concept mm -hmm. because a pose uh, in this uh, conception is the space and the space uh, um, by uh, a statue on a um, uh, face of a cathedral mm -hmm. the, the, the time okay yeah. the mm -hmm. time uh, when I uh, watch uh, a statue mm -hmm. and the uh, mm, wall yeah. mm -hmm. is a completely a, a mm -hmm. another concept. Mm -hmm. um, in vision, instead, 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 we have an uh, empowerment of the concept and the language because the real specializi specialization of the rules have uh, uh, <laughs> Pro product, product, mm -hmm. pro pro produce. produce, okay, mm -hmm. produce a um, fracture mm -hmm. in the community in the sense of uh, to uh, uh, stay with the art. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, if we um, 
try to think uh, um, with, without uh, historical, cultural, or uh, critics' uh, uh, pre pre prejudice. Prejudice? Pre pre prejudice. Prejudice. This is for hotel. Preconception. Uh, probably uh, a human uh, being, a human person that uh, is called ar artist and a human person that is called uh, audience, uh, mm -hmm. uh, probably uh, they talk uh, in the same place, in the same time, uh, the same um, object. Mm -hmm. But Probably the narration is uh, the new and the ancient uh, perspective to um, create to create a connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, another 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 thing. Another thing. Um, this problem is. Uh, I I I saw uh, this problem is real in the visual art. Because visual art is more um, um, legato, 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 connected, uh, connected with uh, a production of an object. Mm -hmm. um, instead, in uh, theater, performing theater, mm -hmm. w th this problem is ancient. Uh, w um, in is in the nature of. Because uh, the, the theater is in a real, continuously, uh, in a real relation with the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, often the audience pay to see someone uh, on the stage. Then the artist, the poet, the uh, writer for theater, the actor, is uh, in a continuous uh, um, contradiction and relation with this problem. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> <coughs> probably is more simple and more difficult contemporary mm -hmm. to um, uh, visualize visualize this problem for a, an actor mm -hmm. because if uh, uh, he don't produce yeah. with a uh, comma comma yeah, mm -hmm. yeah? Question uh, if an actor, if an, a director uh, don't produce for an, the audience, it's not theater. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not in a real community. Mm -hmm. uh, if um, and any, anyway, and and qualsiasi cosa voglia dire community in questo tempo. Whatever the community yeah. means in this time, because community is. Uh, uh, a, a product of the history, mm -hmm. then we don't uh, uh, dream uh, the, the idea of community in the polis of the Agora. We um, need to uh, confront and discuss on the real community in this time. Mm -hmm. um, another thing um, uh, faster. Uh, when uh, Diego Rivera had a uh, fresco for uh, Rockefeller, mm -hmm. he had tried to connect his uh, political idea mm -hmm. uh, with a um, rich and capitalist yes. uh, commission. Then I think uh, uh, that the, the real uh, connection on in this time with this problematics, uh, with this problem, is uh, in a sort of uh, prostitution. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a sort of... Yeah. Uh, I think that prostitution in my language is the same, uh, uh, have the same sense uh, of your... Uh, Instrumentalization? No, 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 of your um, uh, speech on uh, responsibility. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's more discretional. Yeah. It's more complex, mm -hmm. it's more discretional. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. discretional. Sigabish. But we, we too understand prostitution. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, no, and discretional uh, is a op op opina... opina oh Opinative. E dammi una mano però, cioè. Discrezionale, molto discrezionale. Yeah, yeah, discretion, it's, it's uh, okay. discretion. You are Deutsch. Yeah. It's Deutsch, ah, discretion no, okay. is in Deutsch okay. also, discretion, yeah. 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 Thank you. So I think that if we don't have uh, more comments uh, now, we can have a lunch break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we see each other here. Yeah. Uh, one when? hour. Let's see, okay. one hour? Yeah. Okay, maybe a good lunch, but uh, in the next one.
next, uh, the second time I don't uh, know in a oh, okay. I'm working for a solution. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.